Now that you've collected your insects, we're going to show you a few methods on how to identify them. We have at the museum developed a few resources that can help you in this regard, and many of them are outlined in our, use, in our leader's guide and our user's guide. The first thing we have to know is actually what makes an insect or what makes an invertebrate. And the second thing we have to realise is that many of Australian insects are actually not identified. So therefore, they actually don't have a scientific name as yet. We haven't got round to identifying them. An arthropod is something that has an exoskeleton. It's basically got its hard parts on the outside and the squishy bits in the middle. And there are four major groups of arthropods, as you can see here. So the insects have six legs, they have two antennae, and they have three body regions. In comparison, the spiders, which belong to the arachnida, have eight legs and never have antennae. So that's one of the ways that you can tell the difference between those two particular groups. One of the questions quite often is, does your insect or invertebrate have wings? If you're looking at the, from the top of the body of the insect and you can't see these segments going across the abdomen, then you definitely have an insect that has wings but what it's done is it's folded its wings over its abdomen you can't see those segments. Another question you quite often asked is does about the mouth parts of your insect and to do that you actually have to turn the insect over and look on the underside of the head so that's another thing that you really have to do and for this I, I really do encourage that you are dealing with dead preserved insects. Don't try to do this with a live insect the chances are that you will be either bitten or stung. So insects bite with their mouth parts and they sting with the abdominal end, the end of the abdomen. Insects actually have a head which contains the antennae and the eyes and the mouth parts underneath as we said, a thorax which has three pairs of legs and has on occasion two pairs or four wings. And then the abdomen is made up of segments between 5 and 13 segments and it's usually used mainly for digestion and reproduction. The other thing you've got to realise is that you can often only identify insects when they are adult. So many insects go through this complete change that we sometimes call abrupt metamorphosis or complete metamorphosis. Beetles can be recognised because they have a straight line down the middle of the back, as you see here. And in fact, what beetles have done is their front wings have become extremely hard and they cover the abdomen and the hind wings are folded up underneath. Until they want to fly, they raise those front hard covers that we call elytra, unfold the hind wings and then they fly only with the hind wings. The other group of insects have a, comp a different type of life cycle. They don't have a huge change, they have a gradual change through their life. Now the ones on the right there are true bugs. Not all insects are bugs, there is actually a specific group of insects that are bugs or true bugs or sucking bugs. And we call them that because they have mouth parts that have formed a thin, straight tube that lies down between the front pair of legs. That group, if you encounter them, can hurt you a great deal. You try to hold insects from the top and only when they are already dead and preserved.